Hello and welcome back to the Hue Report, your weekly roundup of craft and colour and making news from around the world. I'm Rev and here's what's been making headlines this week. As always, all story links are in the description if you want to take a deeper look. Bamboo Labs has officially opened its first flagship store located in Shenzhen district right in the heart of their home base in China. The 244 meter squared space is designed to bring 3D print to life quite literally as its center sits an enormous cyber brick diaphragm created using over 100 H2D printers running non-stop to showcase the company's technology in action. Until now, Bamboo has existed almost entirely online. So this makes a huge shift towards real world experience. Visitors can explore machines like the X1C and the A1 Mini, test materials and attend live demos. The company has confirmed this is just the beginning with plans to open more flagship stores internationally over the next few years. What do you think? Is this a great move for accessibility or is Bamboo turning into Apple stores of the 3D printing world? Next up is something exciting for the artistic side of the 3D print world. The Hue Forge team has just unveiled Flatforge, a new plugin that takes their signature print with filament approach and makes it perfectly flat. Instead of visible ridges or layered reliefs, Flatforge blends color on a single ultra smooth surface so your prints feel more like a real painting than a typical 3D print. It works best with AMS systems and tool changes like the Prusa XL or the Snapmaker U1. Laying your creative bookmarks, coasters and even two-sided prints with subtle gradients and holographic effects. Of course, there's a trade-off. Longer print times and more filament waste on single nozzle setups, but it's a fantastic step forward in color-based additive art. Do you think Flatforge will transform how we approach filament art, or will the slower prints and waste hold it back? According to new reports from Additive Manufacturer Research, the 3D printing industry generated $3.9 billion in the second quarter of 2025, making one of the strongest growth periods ever. That's not just commercial or industrial sales either. Consumer level machines contribute a notable share. Analysts say that this suggests we're entering the second wave of home adoption where makers, hobbyists and small studios are driving real demand again. Do you think growth will continue as prints become more plug and play or will the hype eventually cool off? And speaking of innovation, researchers at the University of Texas have developed a new 3D printing method that uses two different wavelengths of light to print material with both flexible and rigid zones in a single object. The process is called a dual light resin printing and could revolutionize everything from wearable medical devices to soft robotics. It's like giving one material multiple personalities. Imagine a print that bends in one section and stays solid in another, all without switching resins. It's still in the lab phase, but it shows just how much potential there is in material science for the next generation of printers. Would you want a printer that can do both flexible and rigid prints automatically, or do you still prefer to experiment by hand? This week's features shift from machines to moods, so let's talk about color because this season's palettes are richer, deeper, and more expressive than ever. According to Vogue and Home and Gardens, the key tones for autumn and winter 2025 are Mocha Moose, Electric Turquoise, Verdant Earth and Smoky Plum. Mocha Moose is a warm, comforting neutral luxe edge. Electric Turquoise is a pop of bold, nostalgic vibrancy. Verdant Earth and Smoky Plum are jewel tones inspired by natural pigments. Paint brands like Rust-Oleum are also championing the return to richness, blending earthy pinks and darker emeralds with metallic highlights. For crafters, this isn't just about what's trending, it's an invitation to experiment. Pairing deep tones with pops of shimmer or matte finishes can instantly modernize your project. The biggest question though, are we heading towards a maximalist reveal in craft and interior? For years, minimalist ruled, but now it seems color, emotion, and even imperfections are making their comeback. What about you? Are you ready to bring back bold colors into your projects, or are you simply for the calm of minimalist palettes. Here's a quick color tip to close things off. If you're working with darker paints or pigments like those trending rich tones, always test them under warm and cool light. A shade that looks elegant indoors might appear completely flat under daylight. It's the small steps that make a huge difference in keeping your project vibrant. And that's it for this week's Hue Report. From flat filament art to flagship stores and flexible resins, the world of craft and color is moving fast. Which story stood out most to you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below 
I'll be reading and replying to as many as I can. And don't forget to subscribe for next week's roundup of all things creative. And if your printer decides to misbehave this week, just remember, it's not a failure, it's abstract art.